What's up, YouTube? Check this out. The HR listening room. Yeah. <laughs> this is going to be fun, man. This is going to be awesome. There's some new video footage that's never been seen, and we pulled it out of the attic. And uh, is that right? Yeah, I mean, we just dusted off like an old tome, and <laughs> it looked like, <laughs> looked like Indiana Jones, man. <laughs> Blew the dust off. We had to run away from a big boulder. It was a whole thing, but we... But we managed to get this footage that we haven't seen, you haven't seen, and it's gonna be glorious. We're gonna watch this together in real time. Let's go to the video. Okay, so this is, I guess, what you'd call a concert clinic. I don't know exactly what that combination of things means. So why don't we just turn it into whatever we want it to be? <laughs> And if anybody asks you what you did, say you went to a con concert clinic. <laughs> <laughs> so, we can play, and we can talk, or do neither of those things and do something else entirely different. How many guitar players here? Whoa! Yep, a bunch of them from the seminar. <laughs> All guitar players. Yes, I guess he'd better explain the piano. <laughs> <laughs> That's a Billy Peterson on bass, or if you can see Wow. Yeah. This was in, I think it was 1982. Yeah. That's when this was recorded. Yeah. Nothing personal. He tells the bass and drums to lay out. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that guitar, man. That's the old HR Fusion. That's the original prototype Fusion. Wow. The original prototype.
It's <laughs> <laughs> a little comical. You know what's interesting? I, I love hearing HR in in this live setting because uh, most of us know him from his albums, mm, yeah, and which are the tunes are very concise. Uh, you know, three minute, two two to three minute tunes that are yeah, real precise. Yeah. You know, um, and this is in a live improvising setting, and it's really cool to hear him stretch out like that a little yeah. bit more. He didn't get to do that on a lot of the on a lot of the records. It wasn't appropriate for the radio play thing. That so. makes sense. What a what a treat, man! Wow, man! What were those, some of those lines in there? Are just gosh! Unreal. I recognize that one. He was. Yeah, what would he do? He has a, is this? Ooh. You know this one? Uh, Whoa, that's that so kind cool. of thing. But he does it like at warp speed. You know. Wow. It's, but he does it like all the way across. But his hands go this way instead of this way. Wow. So I don't know. It's, we have to figure that one out. <laughs> That's a cool lick, man. That is beyond cool, man. My mind is blown. That is right. so cool. Should we dive into another one? Yeah, let's check another right, section I think we got out. The next, I think we got the solo section out of this. Let's see okay. what HR does at the end of uh, Skylark here. All right. Out of the base, so I think. Oh, yeah, here we go. Oh, 
That's diving, baby. Oh my god, no kidding. Love the diving, man. Jumping out of my seat, man. That was crazy. So that's the way he liked to play, you know, live. Yeah. Is he liked to stretch and he liked to he would term that he used was called diving. That yeah. means, you know, you're you're on the edge. You're not playing conservatively. Uh, you're you're playing just on the edge of your ability and your technique. And occasionally you you go just over it. <laughs> you might hear a little clam or a little glitch it's because you're going for something and that's what i always admired about one of the things i really admired about his playing a lot is you don't hear that with a lot of players yeah you hear yeah. a lot of great players but they're they're they're, they're playing conservatively you don't see any sweat mm. you know they might have beautiful technique but you never hear them play outside of the bounds of what they yeah, normally do. Yeah, there's like a, an, a, it's an edge to it, or a, there's yeah, a, he's there's very a fire. Edgy. It's fiery. Now you know, on his on a lot of his records, you know, and they're saying it's, it's all beautiful and people like mm -hmm. those. It's very, very well executed and clean. You don't near, you don't hear as much of that edge type mm -hmm. of playing, that diving that you do with his live stuff. So he this is what he lived to do was cut to, and to loose. play this. We get a chance to watch HR cut loose. How exciting this! If if you're not if you don't have chills out there, like <laughs> go back and listen to that again. Yeah, <laughs> that I, gave me chills from the, the depths of my <laughs> spine. I remember <laughs> him telling me this story. He was doing one of these one of these gigs like this about this about this era. Yeah. Um, and someone in the audience said, we want the old Howard Roberts. And he goes, what does that mean? He goes, you've got the old Howard Roberts. What you want is the young Howard Roberts. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they want to hear his earlier they stuff. They want to hear his early oh, stuff, his early records. Old... That's HR humor right there. Yeah, you know, it's, uh, boy, you weren't going to hear that when you came to these shows. Mm. No, it's going to be this kind of stuff, which, Diving. I just love it. Man, that's too cool. Too cool. Mm -hmm. 